Hey buds, this is Doug. Welcome to Doug's Buds. This is the New Orleans Advocates, Nick Underhill. This is MassLive.com's Kevin Duffy. Nick Underhill, formerly of MassLive. So that's, you asked for a theme, our theme is MassLive.com. How's that? I'll accept it. First question, do you guys consider yourselves buds of Doug? I think I would, Doug. I did until Super Bowl week when I wasn't invited on Doug's Buds. Ooh. I was, I mean, Ted Karras and Deron Hart. <laughs> <laughs> Get that away from me. <laughs> to be fair, I did invite you on Doug's Buds. It just never came together that's during true. Super Bowl week. That's, that's, <laughs> that's true. You mentioned it. It I just did. never worked out. We both had a lot to do. Never came together. Uh, NFL season ended, what was it, like three, four weeks ago, something like that. How have you guys been uh, spending your time that you didn't used to have and now have? I'm going to let you talk first. I watch a lot of... Uh, House Hunters marathons. Ooh. So, you know, you got to burn the time somehow. My, my wife doesn't really let me watch TV shows without her, so it's like, <laughs> I got to watch garbage, so that, that's it. Are you hunting for a house? No, I'm not. No, no plans at all. <laughs> How, what are you doing? I watched The Good Place. Ooh. Yeah. It's it's a good like, show. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's really good. Um, I wanted to start a show, and that's I don't watch any shows during the season, so that was that's literally the only interesting thing i've done i wouldn't even say it's interesting but i've done very little i'm gonna make a bit of a confession here i've been i fired up the old playstation 2. Wow. i've been playing ncaa football 2009. that game is so old that julian edelman is a quarterback in that game for kent state i started a franchise whatever dynasty mode with wyoming i made it to the year 2017 and that's when i realized i really had to kind of reevaluate my life a little bit after winning <laughs> multiple national championships with wyoming and being in the year 2017. Can, can you pay players to come play for your team? <laughs> uh, no, but I, I am one damn hell of a, of a recruiter, I'd say. Yeah. I'm proud. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, that's a sad thing that I've done. But um, it's a combine. What are you guys hoping to get out of the combine? An interview with Sean Payton. <laughs> How's that going? <laughs> Day one, not so good. That's more than we're hoping. Yeah. We're not hoping for an interview with Bill Belichick. It's, or Sean Payton. It's, it's not happening. Or okay. Sean Payton, yes. Were you here in 2014 when he showed up and just walked to the podium and had like in his flip flops? Bill? <laughs> no. <laughs> like, like an eight minute statement on the history of the combine and then like, <laughs> like two questions about it. Are you I remember this up? it, no, but really it wasn't happened. there. 2014? Was, was it your last year at Mass Live? It was my first year oh. here, I think. Bill Belichick, I don't remember him ever speaking when I... Maybe, maybe it was maybe, my last year. It was I think, 2013, okay. 2014. Yeah, yeah he, he just he's, he walked in, had, you know, the, the, the vineyard vine shirt on, buttoned a little <laughs> too far, flip-flops, and that was it. If that happens this year, we might be screwed because there's like a 27-minute walk from the media workroom to the interview room. He'd be done with his combine soliloquy by the time we got there, I think. Yeah, yeah, that'd be no good. <laughs> Let's try some food. Uh, I went to CVS, which was down the street, and I bought some Sour Patch Jelly Beans. It's pretty exciting. Uh, and for those uninitiated, we rate things on the bug to bud scale. Bad, if it tastes bad, it gets any number of bugs. If it tastes good, it gets any number of buds. Is there a limit nope. to how many bugs No limits bugs? of bugs or buds. Okay. We've talked about putting together like, like a chart for all of the things that we've rated over the years because I do this with my friends, but it would be a terrible chart because there'd be things in like the millions and then everything would be kind of come towards the ones and twos. But that Airheads like Bites video? Oh, it's a terrible system because, because they sound no, the same too. Yeah, and there's no like... How did this start? Uh, this started because last year after the Super Bowl, there was talks of me doing a show on Nesson.com, which eventually became the football word. But I asked one of my friends, I'll give a shout out to Mike McGann. I was like, what should I call it? And he said, Doug's Buds. And then it somehow formed into Doug's Bugs. And I don't know. Naturally. Yeah, naturally. So let's do this. It's difficult to open. Yeah, I, don't, I don't want to do like a I've seen these before. You struggle a lot to get bags open. Well, there's no like, there's no there's thing, little, right? Maybe you need to like grow a nail or something. Just leave one nail. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with a you could open the bag before you turn on the camera. <laughs> no, this is all part of the no, it's all part. Yeah, it's all part of the shtick. <laughs> um, I think these are pretty good, but. 
They're not as good as Sour Patch Kids. Yeah, it's just a hard Sour Patch. I would give it... I'd still probably give it like five buds, though. I'd put all of them in my mouth right now. So. <laughs> I'm going to give it an eight. I'll give it eight. Eight what? Bugs yeah, eight what? The positive one. Bud, buds. 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 Yeah. yeah. I don't know what that number means. But... I'll give it two buds. Slightly positive, but of all the candy you could have picked, like airhead bites, I mean, there's just Swedish fish, gobstoppers, I mean, we can go down the list. Yeah. Yeah. True. Um, so earlier I asked Nick, my friend Nick, I asked both of you what your dinner plans were, and Nick said that he had something to do at 7. So what's this thing you have to do at 7, Nick? Oh, it's just a, I got to go to this press conference where Jeff Ireland's talking, but we aren't allowed to ask questions. Ooh. So, I mean, that kind of just kind of sums up my whole kind of experience. <laughs> so he just gives, like, a monologue? Yeah, he's accepting some award, and he's, he's going to talk. And, like, other people can ask questions, but we can't ask questions. That's strange. Yeah. Yes, it is. Earlier today, before we wrap this up, Matt Patricia gave a news conference in that room that's 23 minutes away. And then after the press conference, we all got the chance to talk to him outside of the press conference area. But Matt Patricia just walked. So we were all just following Matt Patricia a through mob. the halls of like the Indiana Convention people. Center. <laughs> like 15 Circled people all like walking our dog, like, Matt like Patricia. It was like like ants walking together. And Ben Bolin, our buddy from the Boston Globe, was walking backwards the whole time. And I was kind of actively rooting for him to trip. Never did. But that's kind of what the Combine's like, though. It's a, it's, it's a little weird, but... I'm glad Matt was ready to take notes if he needed to. He did. I'm glad that he has the pencil just in regular life situations. Someone brought up a point yesterday. I don't know who it was. That Matt Patricia has a pencil, but he has a laminated call sheet. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, someone did say that. Was that so, you? No. Well, you might have well, passed it along to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, it's all... It, the whole thing is such a shtick. Just, yeah. like, just like Bill and every, a it's, lot of stuff Belichick does is for appearance, too. It is, and it's funny that these football coaches will do that. But... Um, What's the most interesting thing you guys heard today? I'll let you go first, Kevin. Um, the grading system on buds versus bugs. I don't know. <laughs> hasn't been a really interesting day. I don't know. Yeah. From like a combine perspective, there hasn't. I mean, the Patriots didn't talk, so yeah. I don't know. Oh, probably the most interesting thing was when the Jets GM, Mike McCagnan, said that he follows other teams' beat writers on Twitter to like see what they think of the players. Not that that's crazy, but I just – any time of – a GM of another team says something, I always put it in the context of like hearing this from a Patriot, and it would be ridiculous to hear Belichick or Nick Casario ever say that. Did you hear anything today? Yeah, I did. I thought it was kind of interesting, not interesting, but John Gruden kind of just like dismissed the analytics. <laughs> yeah. Data or, or data. Like, data or data? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's just like, come on, it's not 1998, man. Like, well, he wants change. it to be. I know he does. He wants, he wants Matchbox 20 at the top of the charts. He wants he wants the Titanic back in theaters. Yeah. But I, I just can't believe people think like that. So like you're yeah. gonna you're gonna be like Dusty Baker one day, right. and it's just like. I guess he kind of walked back those comments in one of those sessions that comes after an, a news mm -hmm. conference. But that doesn't matter if you're saying in front of cameras that right. like analytics are for nerds. He didn't say that, but that's kind of what did. he said. Yeah. 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 I mean, Bill, Belichick says stuff like that too. Yeah. I mean, they got the guy. Like, you're, you're I. I mean, stats don't mean anything. <laughs> Uh, really sure what I'll wrap this up by saying about. that Matt Patricia actually had a couple of funny lines in our walk through the convention center with him. One of which was someone asked him about how many defensive starters he thinks he has. And he said, well, I think we're going to field 11 of them. And yeah. I don't know, there was one other thing that it was just like a different side of Matt Patricia, the, a little goofier. It's, yeah, little I mean, he didn't show any of that with us yeah. at all. Like he definitely has a good personality. He just didn't bring that out when he was working under Bill Belichick. It's true. All right, well, thank you, buds. I'm glad we got to enjoy these Please Sour Patch pleasure. Kids jelly beans wherever they are. Oh. They're decent. You guys want more? No, I still got some there in my hands. Yeah. But uh, from Indianapolis, thank you for joining me, fellas.